Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and I want to kick this off by talking about base and our base. Okay, base, let's not sleep on base, all right? Base was the first one to do this, or, or I don't think they were the first rebase token actually, but that's the one that everyone's hyping about. That, that, that's the one that's got a lot of new people's attention, okay? And our base, sorry, base is currently up around 300%, 330%, all right? So a big pump since yesterday. Yeah, since last night, I believe. Big pump, all right, guys? And that is going up crazy. <laughs> uh, could have made some nice gains if you bought it in up here, okay? So, obviously, if that does rebase uh, right about now, it's pegged to the market cap, okay? So, if it does rebase, um, I'm not sure when the next rebase is, but I think it might be around midnight tonight. Don't quote me on that. Go and check it out, guys, all right? But when that does rebase, obviously, you're going to get a chance to... Uh, to you know double up your tokens at this point because it's over a dollar okay and uh, if you're not sure what rebasing is i'm gonna actually explain that to you right now because if we look at our base as well um a few people left comments on the video that i made the other day saying hey, it was a rug pull okay because it dumped right because they don't understand rebasing right so you know I'm going to do my best not to promote rug pulls to you guys okay when i promoted this i promoted it with a uh you know with 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 the um, let's say I might have assumed that a lot of people would know what rebasing is and they would know exactly what was going on when they saw this large red candle here. Okay, let's just go on the one hour chart. Okay, large red candle here. All right. So basically, rebasing, um, some tokens are pegged. You got ones like XETH that's like pegged to Ethereum. This one is a pegged to the entire crypto market cap. So if you're investing in this, you're speculating on a whole entire market cap. As a whole for example right so even if you bought in over here on this green candle right then the rebase happened let's say you put a hundred dollars in there right from the rebase price which is around 50 cents right uh, because the market cap is around 500 billion dollars or something like that right and um, so they would actually do it in cents all right and they'd peg it like that go and do your research if you want to know in more detail what i'm talking about right but um Basically, because it's written into the smart contract, this was always going to happen. So that's why we were holding it, waiting for that to happen so that we could get our rebase tokens, right? So you put $100 in up here, for example. This was approximately about 10x, all right? So when it goes down, right, um, you're going to get a 1,000 times your tokens. So you got $100 in here. It drops, okay? As soon as it reaches there, you now have a 1,000 tokens, right? Or 1,100 tokens, right? On top of your 100. That's how the rebasing works. So when it gets here, well, it, let's say, for example, you had one Ethereum or 1.1 Ethereum when you were up here, right? By the time it gets down there, you will still be on 1.1 Ethereum. Then when it goes up, you're going to be in, you know, a lot of profit, right? And a lot of the times when this happens, we're looking for the bounces, we're looking for the retrace, we're looking for people to buy the dip. Unfortunately, a lot, not a lot of people bought the dip um, in fast enough time for this and it didn't give us a bullish engulfing candle and it did like start to uptrend to the upside okay however it has been going sideways so still a lot of people have not lost money on this some people would have sold up here when it bounced back up to around 80 90 cents all right fair play to them they would have made a good profit on that but um it's not over yet because with this token as well because it hasn't gone up the devs have decided to do something else all right so they are now putting a rebase price down to 17 cents. So the next rebase, which will happen tomorrow at 4 p.m. UTC, will be at 17 cents. So if this price is anything over 17 cents, you're gonna get a chance to make your money, all right? Or at least to make your tokens and, and increase your token amount. Because if you buy it here, let's say for example, it's still at 40 cents at 3.59 tomorrow, you buy it and then it drops to 17 cents. You're going to technically just over double your tokens if the token price remains at 40 cents what it is right now okay and then what you're looking for it to do is for it to bounce or for it to um, start trending up again because then anytime it makes its way back up again you're really just going to be straight away in profit okay and there's a lot of profit to be made especially if it goes back up to its token price of around five six dollars i'm not saying that's going to happen but if that did the amount of money that you're going to make is crazy. That's why so many people made a lot of money on base protocol. Because when it came out, you saw these rebases, right? Oh, look, I've lost the page. Let's go back. When it came out, you saw these rebases, right? And people uh, that bought it understood what they were buying. 
okay so you had a rebase here bang okay it went all the way back up people in crazy profit you had another rebase bang double triple up their tokens however whatever this percentage is yeah they're getting more tokens then it goes up bang there's another rebase okay then when it goes up um, you know they take profit people will put in like two hundred dollars two hundred and fifty dollars in one ethereum make it like 80k 150 k crazy money like that now the thing about our base it's been trending number one on dex tools for a couple of days base is currently at number two but these tokens are definitely taking off and that's where the hype is now this is why you're seeing all these forks come out now as well you've got another one here bas 3 r base 3 rfinance okay did the same kind of thing all right but um not quite i mean i'm not sure why there's one two three candles all that sort of stuff. I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but I'm just assuming by the name that it's uh, trying to capitalize on the hype, right? But I went with our base because of who created it. All right, it was created by the DeFi profits, they call themselves. They have a quite a good reputation in uh, launching tokens, all right? Or so it seems. That's why I invested in that. And the pre sale sold out very fast. So, you know, I jumped on the hype. And, you know, I wasn't wrong for doing that because we saw some massive gains. I think I bought in somewhere down here right over here and i was in a massive profit up there and then it came down so by the time i got out although i didn't sell it when it when it pumped i thought it was going to come all the way back up and kind of give me a good performance but it didn't do that but you know regardless i still made a profit and i'm happy with the profit i made okay now i will consider buying it again uh, for a rebase if it remains above the price of 17 cents i don't need to find my win now i could just wait uh, i've got time i could just wait until tomorrow at 4 p.m and do that so it's all good all right guys so that is our base and rebase and base sorry uh, moving on just quickly when i have a look at buy down you know i love to give you guys these buy down updates because you love them right so um buy down is uh it's still going sideways okay but it does look like it is forming a good pattern it's not falling 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 it's it's trying to put in that sideways action uh, it does look to me like it's gearing up for a move to the upside eventually okay but this is crypto anything can happen we have to make up our minds whether we want to invest in the long term okay for me anywhere back above this level let's just draw a line for you uh, anywhere back above this level would be bullish in my opinion so that's the level that we're waiting to get back up against where it does look to be moving in the right direction we've got this massive impulse to the upside it wicked all the way back down a lot of profit taken right because a lot of people have bought in and they're disappointed with the performance, right? They're waiting for a buy down to go up again. So if you get a spike like that, they're going to be like panic selling to get out, right? But yeah, once buy down can get back over this level, I think we can see some nice upside for buy down. Just a quick update as well for Bubble Network. We have farming and staking, which will be starting next week. Okay, Tuesday, a lot of people have been waiting for that. A lot of people excited for that as well. The interface has been built. All right, guys, we also have an article coming out. And um, I will give you guys an update on that when it's all said and done. But that is about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I will see you guys in the next video.